to the home today's thunderstorms left behind quite a mess in Lake County. A woman at a home on the 800 block of Old Johnny Cake Ridge Road in Menor saw a tree in her yard struck by lightning. Oh. The bolt appeared to have gone up through the tree's roots and traveled to the garage where it blew out an electrical box. All power was lost in the home, but no one was hurt. And that is good. Nobody wow. hurt there. You can see how it like lucky. opened up the dirt and everything. Yeah. That lightning is just unbelievable. Mm. This is the first thunder a lot of folks have heard so far this year. We've yeah. had thunderstorms before, but today uh, there was quite a bit going on. Those thunderstorms popped up, rolled through, and now we're kind of dealing with what's left of those. A whole lot of humidity and cooler temperatures, and that means fog. So we do have some fog that continues into the morning commute tomorrow. Temperatures in the 40s to start. We'll be in the 40s to end. Much cooler air settling in as a cold front drops south. We are now at 41 in Elyria and also at the Cuyahoga County Airport on the east side. You can tell where the front is. It is sitting here. This may waffle back and forth a little bit tonight, but for the most part, we're anticipating the north wind to take over and drop this front in. This front, the front of the colder air, all cold north, much warmer south, will basically put the brakes on rain that is trying to advance northward. So we kind of have a couple different pieces of mechanics going on. Uh, at the same time that cool air is coming in, we still have all the humidity that was left today. So a lot of condensation taking place and we have visibilities now down below a mile throughout a good chunk of the area. This will likely come and go overnight, but by and large, the most widespread fog will be closer to the lakeshore where the cooler air is. Still dealing with a few showers, especially out to the state line area, and there's a few showers out over the lake where nobody really is sitting right now, but we may have an isolated shower chance later on tonight as a whole nother wave of rain works its way from south to north. You can see the push. It's coming all the way from Atlanta, and it's just going to basically ride right up the Appalachians and lift this next batch of rain northward. But remember, I just said we have a cold front that's sitting here, and it's going to try to push back. So we have basically a line that will set up where we have the most likely rain, which will be south and east, and the less likely rain uh, farther to the north and the west. Uh, here we go. Next 48 hours, you can see that push coming at us from the south, and it starts to really fire up those rain chances for tomorrow morning. If you're headed south on 77 or 71 to either, uh, let's say, West Virginia or Columbus, uh, we, you'll be running right into the rain, which could be heavy at times on the road. But farther north along 90, we'll have the fog that's still going to be sitting here coming in off of those north winds. The rain is very persistent through the day tomorrow. We will have rain that sneaks northward to the lakeshore areas, which stay cold all day. Then in the evening, that cold air will basically drag south over all of northern Ohio. So we will be a considerably cooler, all of us, tomorrow night. That's about the time we start to look west then, and we'll be keeping an eye out for our next storm system that will likely be revving up into the Mississippi River Valley through the day Thursday. That is on track to get here on Friday and will most likely bring us some rain this weekend. Unfortunately, Saturday actually looks like it's going to be pretty soggy for us. Colder air returns on Sunday. We may even have some snow showers coming in. So those are the kind of the three things that we're going to be looking ahead to for later in the week. In the meantime, in your National Design Hour hour by hour forecast, we're looking ahead to the rain for tomorrow morning. We'll probably have some patchy fog. 7 a.m. You can see the persistent rain showers farther south, dry and cool and murky right along the lake shore. We'll see scattered showers throughout much of the day tomorrow, even into the midday hours. Not until evening, we'll really start to see that rain moving out. And then, of course, that cooler air is coming in. Could get up over a half inch of rain farther south. It doesn't look like it's going to be a complete heavy rain event for us. Here's your Union Home Mortgage forecast, and you can see we spike it back into the 60s Friday. Rain likely Saturday. As we spring forward, the cooler air returns only to have temperatures flip around and get right back into the 60s by the middle of next week.